This introduction to cancer of unknown primary was created by Beyond Five for the benefit of patients and families affected by cancer in the lymph nodes of the neck where the primary is unknown. Lymph nodes are small bean-shaped glands in the neck that are part of the immune system's defense against infection. Lymph nodes often swell and become sore in response to an infection such as a cold or tonsillitis. This is normal and usually only lasts a few weeks. However, lymph nodes can also be involved by cancer. If you have a neck lump that doesn't go away within a few weeks, it's important to consult your doctor. In adults, enlarged lymph nodes present for more than a few weeks should have a needle biopsy to check for cancer. It is important to realize that cancerous lymph nodes are usually painless and many patients have no other symptoms. Neck cancer of unknown primary occurs when cancer is found in a lymph node, but we can't find the primary site despite specialist review and appropriate scans. Usually these cancers start somewhere else and have spread to the lymph nodes in the neck. We call this lymph node metastases. A needle biopsy of the lymph node can often help to narrow down the potential sites where the cancer came from. In the head and neck, common places where primary cancers can hide are the tonsils or the tongue base. Other primary sites include the skin, mouth, nose, sinus, throat, voice box, thyroid, and salivary glands. Very rarely the primary cancer may be found in the lungs or organs in the abdomen. If the primary site is still unknown after needle biopsy, specialist review and scans, the next step is an examination performed under general anaesthetic while you are asleep. The aim of the procedure is to find where the cancer came from, so your treatment can be focused directly where it is needed. The tonsils may be removed during the procedure because cancers can hide there. Biopsies may be taken from other areas, such as the tongue base, for the same reason. Head and neck cancer of unknown primary can be treated with surgery or radiation therapy. Many patients receive a combination of treatments, including chemotherapy. Depending on the size and the location of the cancer, your specialist will suggest treatment options that are suitable for you. For further information, please visit www.beyond5.org.au.